Hi guys, thanks for coming back to the next video. Um, we're going to be doing this on a uh, Screen Nomadic uh, uh, software uh, because I wanted to show you guys some images and pictures and possibly even part of a couple of videos um, that's tying into the information that the Lord gave me back, uh, several days ago, back on the night of the night of um, July the eighth. Actually, that night the Lord gave me five different dreams, and uh, two of them um, uh, I need to get out to you. I feel that they're very important. Um, what you're looking at here is um, is a screenshot or a movie poster of the movie South Pacific, and I don't know if you guys are familiar with that uh, movie or not, but it was one of my favorites um, growing up. Um, but what happened on the night of July the 8th, the Lord reminded me of something. Now, guys, I need to take a little bit of time and explain what all I experienced the night of July the 8th. Um, and I know that this software will only allow me like 12 or 15 minutes per video. And so I may have to come back and do a second one. But um, I feel that it's important for me to explain um, how I receive this information. Um, most of the time when I tell you I've received a dream, then and, and I say it was a dream, then it was a dream. And um, and I, you know, was involved in with the dream or I was observing something with the dream. And then there were some times that I've come to you guys and I said, guys, you know, I know I'm saying it's a dream, but I really feel like I was there kind of thing. You know, and so, you know, was it a dream or were, you know, were we actually in the spirit somewhere, translated somewhere? You know, um, you know, we, I don't know. But either one of those is not what happened to me on July the 8th. What happened to me on July the 8th was I was asleep. And in my dream state, I received information mentally. It was like um, it was like it was telepathy somehow. Um, when I awoke from hearing what I'm getting ready to share with you guys, I, I did not recall a dream. I did not recall seeing anything with my eyes. It was just as if I was just there in a state of some sort and. I was receiving this information um, in my mind. It was as if I was just maybe in prayer with my eyes closed um, or, or what, but I was receiving this um, in my mind. Now, I was receiving it while I was asleep, and so I'm basically going to just say this is what I received in a dream state. So. <laughs> I, I know that's a little bit confusing. Um, it's confusing for me too to try and explain it, um, unless the Lord just completely took a dream out of out of my mind that quickly within seconds. Um, I don't know what else or how else I could explain it any better um, than that. But um, I did receive five different things that night too that I can um, get out to you here relatively quickly. Okay, so that night the Lord reminded me in a dream <laughs> or in my dream state. He was bringing something back to my memory. Um, he was reminding me of my childhood. And in my childhood, I, I really enjoyed listening to um, musicals. Now, when I told you guys in a past video that I'm, I am a rated G girl or a rated PG girl, I was being 100% honest with you all. I am all about a musical or a sing-along or something along that nature. That's more my speed. And so um, the Lord was bringing back to my memory um, a childhood memory that I had where I was singing along to, uh, okay, well, this is going to date me, albums <laughs> of musicals. I think we had Carousel in the House. I believe we had Fiddler on the Roof. 
and I know we had South Pacific. And so while I was, you know, just sitting and remembering uh, this memory that he brought back to me, um, he then reminded me um, that I was in a play. Um, now, when I was in grade school, my stepmother was a teacher in high school, and her good friend was the person that oversaw the acting department for the high school. And they needed a couple of young children um, for this particular play that the high schoolers were putting on, and it happened to be South Pacific. And so um, the Lord was reminding me um, about that particular time. And so I, I found a video that I'd like for you all to um, just listen to a little part of it because um, this is dealing with, let me see if I can find where they start singing, because this is dealing with um, um, the play in South Pacific. And I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with it, but it's about a, an American nurse who falls in love with a plantation owner. And the plantation owner has two children. And uh, this is uh, set up during World War II. And um, let me go ahead and play this for you here. It's just, just for about a minute and a half, maybe two minutes. Come back here and sit down. Okay, guys, um, I just wanted to show you that. Um, so this is um, part of the um, part of the movie South Pacific, and uh, and that was the little song that I had to sing. <laughs> just wanted to. I was just enjoying the memory of it all here. So anyway, um, I guess they asked me to be in it because I had um, I had dark hair when I was a little girl. It got lighter as I've gotten older and a little bit of grayer, but um, I did have dark hair, and so I was asked to be in that particular play. But now I wanted to um, continue to tell you now when the Lord was reminding me of this, and he was reminding me of playing one of the children in this particular high school play, um, I was just kind of basking in the memory of it with him. And then all of a sudden, um, he says something to me. Uh, let me delete that off. And let me just write the words that he said to me uh, as I was just remembering being a child in this play. This word he said, merge. Then he said this. Then he said this. And I sat like merge, mixed DNA, fallen. And then my thought was this. Now guys, 
I was asleep. These were all coming to me. And then my thought was, as in the days of Noah. Now, I thought to myself when I woke up and I wrote down all of these different uh, dreams that I had that night. I better go in and take a look at um, what the South Pacific musical was all about. Because now, mind you, I knew the play, I knew the songs, but I didn't know everything about the play. I only had a, a very small part in being very young in, in, a, in a high school production. I wasn't allowed to, you know, sit and watch the play or what have you. I, I went in, I did my part, and I was, I was, you know, scooted out of the way. And so I went into, you guys know, I went into Wiki, and, um, and I pulled up the South Pacific Musical. And, um, and what it's showing here, I just wanted to go in and read what it says right here. It says, the plot centers on an American nurse stationed on a South Pacific island during World War II, who falls in love with a middle-aged French plantation owner, but struggles to accept his mixed-race children. Now, the minute I saw that, he struggles to accept his mixed race children. I knew right then it was, you know, I've, I've told you guys when you know what the Lord is trying to show you, 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 you knew right then. And that's exactly what the Lord is trying to show me. Now, guys, he is not saying mixed races like between an American and a Frenchman. He's not saying, you know, English with, um, you know, um, Korean or anything like that. He's not talking about mixed nationalities. He's not talking about that. What he's talking about is this. Merge mixed DNA with fallen. Now, when we see fallen, we know that that really means fallen angels, right? That's what he's talking about. And when it and as it is in the days of Noah, we know that there were fallen angels and giants in the land. So we're going to come back and we're going to take a look at that because um, the Lord is trying to show us something here. And I want to show you what he's been showing me. And so, guys, I'm going to come back in the next video and we're going to take a look at this. God bless you all. Bye.